I see you've got today's Boston Globe. Yeah, Crow, I didn't know you had a syndicated column in the lifestyle section of many major newspapers. Oh, sure. I was inspired by Larry King's column in USA Today. My Two Cents by Crow T. Robot. Yeah. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Shoelaces are handy, even necessary, to many of today's shoe styles. Yeah. Volleyball player Gabriella Reese is the best athlete in the world and arguably the most difficult of all sports. Right. The Boeing 727 is still my favorite aircraft. Mm -hmm. I give Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia a B plus. Yep. Television shows aired last night. Girl, I have to say, this column doesn't seem particularly substantive. Oh, thanks, Mike. Well, you should have seen last Tuesday's column. I remarked on a patty melt I had for lunch. Must have been fascinating. Now, who reads this column? Well, you, for one. Oh, Crow, you were right on about shoelaces, man. I don't know what we do without journalists like you telling it like it is. We'll be right back. Wow, television shows did air last night. <laughs> man. Okay, Mike, is this more substantial? Could there be more goose poop in my front yard? No. No, it's not more substantial, or no, there could not be more goose poop in my... Let's see what Pearl's up to, okay? I just wanted an answer. Huh? Oh, what the? Hey, on? hey, look at this, another button. Never noticed that before. Hello? Oh, hi, Mike. I'm sorry. I should have told you we were moving the castle. I didn't mean to leave you home alone. Oh. Well, anyway, we had to. I finally got sick of paying 50 bucks a year for my monkey license. Um, where do you want the silverware? Well, in the kitchen where it always goes. 50 bucks? I'm not going to pay the government 50 bucks for the privilege of owning a monkey. How much do you pay for your little things up there? Well, not that much. Really? Exactly! So anyway, we're living in a much better place. It's quieter, frankly, it's a better neighborhood. And they only charge 10 bucks a year for the monkey license. Pretty shrewd, huh? And it's a nice one, too. Look, it's rad. <laughs> wow, real neat. It uh, does seem like kind of a commotion just to save the... $40, but, you know, what do I know? Yeah, right. Oh, no, Mike, it only costs $2.3 million to move the castle, so it'll pay off in about 3,512 years, assuming 2% inflation each year, so you see how much sense it makes. Well, maybe if you'd moved it with that big deal brain of yours. I'm not that omnipotent, Pearl. And besides, we, we packed everything up, moved the castle here, only to unpack it and put it back again in the same places. I mean... Why? Oh, I actually have a pretty good reason for that. Okay. It's because... Oh, 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 it's real official, too. Look, 
for control of parasite and disease-riddled smelly apes. That's me. <laughs> oh, lay down, Bobo. Lay down. As for you up there. Oh, I'd imagine that what with all the moving, you don't even have time for a movie for us today, do yeah. you? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, right. Oh, no movie. Oh, except for this one. And it's a really bad movie. It's called Horrors of Spider Island. I hope that's okay. Real peaceful in the new neighborhood, too. Hey, shh, no. No, not the chain bar. We got movie sign. Come on. Give us a chance to sit down. What's going on? (laughs) It's an anagram for a bra bra naval night. (laughs) Temple Foster, where they worship Australian beer. Hey, they're playing makeout music, Mike. What do you say? Come on. Mm -hmm. Too bad we can't grab this movie with a tissue and crumple it and flush it down the toilet. Suppose we could. Pacemaker. Ironically, they used a lot of microwave ovens and metal detectors during this movie. <laughs> well. Spider Island, home to the stars. Ooh. This is back when every car was filled with a private investigator. <laughs> Boy, Spider Island's all built up now. Hey, that guy took his boat on land. Do the park. Do, 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 do the park. Do the parallel park. It's the parallel park. Do the park, 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 park. It's a dames and broads audition. <laughs> hey, nice office for an enlisted man. Singapore, in the south of Malaya. Population approximately 550,000. Yeek. University, yeah. shipbuilding, important seaport. Doesn't it say anything about the 32 nightclubs there? Have you already worked down in Singapore? No. Not to work. However, I once had a friend, an oil sheik. He took me with him down there. He was quite a guy. <laughs> Those are the guys that run around in turbans, aren't they? Listen, honey, when they take those turbans off, they're just like any other man. Turbanless. Got a light. Uh. Lucky sign. <laughs> Looking forward to going to Singapore? Mm, I don't really care where I dance, yeah. as long as the pay is good. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Bob Boxbody. That's him now. I mind very much if you smoke. Hey, quit doing your Sharon Stone impersonation. Hi. Hi. I've already been to Singapore. And you look like it. Oh, dear. I said and you look like it. <laughs> ah. Dr. Strangelove. Hello, Gary. Hi, Georgia. You're looking prettier every day. How in the world are you doing? Mike. Yeah? Have you told the girls what this is all about? Sure, Gary. A tour for a dancing troupe. First engagement, Singapore. I have 12 of them here to pick from. Enjoy, Gary. Okay, Georgia. Let the girls in. We don't have much time. All right, if we start now, Mr. Blackwood. Of course. <laughs> oh, but one at a time, please. Okay. May? We're looking for someone who will sleep with us. Smile, will you? How do you do? <laughs> That's Mr. Webster, the manager. And uh, this is May. She's the finest dancer in town. See? What was your last engagement? With the Coquettes, one year. Uh, one of the finest. Hmm, legs? Pardon me? Mr. Webster would like to look at your legs. Oh, sure. Suppress it, suppress it. Thank you, you're hired. Please wait outside. Oh, thank you. Hmm, May, Coquettes. And this is Rhonda Hunter. Dancer? Not really. But I picked things up real fast. Hmm. Well, let's see your clavicle. Thank you. We're looking for dancers. But what's that got to do with Singapore? Come on, come on, honey. Don't hold us up. This is how Ms. Magazine does its hiring. Babs? 
Babs played fullback for the Lions. This is Babs. Her legs are worth their weight in gold. Golden legs also dance? I was solo dancer in the Apollo variety. And why did you leave there? Oh, the boss really went for her, but his wife thought otherwise. There it is again. All right, you can work with us, as long as you don't have any affairs. Mr. Webster doesn't tolerate any fooling around. Yeah, that's cool. I had all the boys I can take. Come on. Carolyn. Is this the insurer auditions? This little one's from the National Ballet. Could you dance a little bit for us? Glad to. Would you put this one on for me? Sure. Let's have a look. But none of that modern stuff. Just shake your dinners. This is called You'll Never Have Sex With Me. Thank goodness she has that belt to her outfit would fall right off. Well, boss, we can always pay her in cigarettes, cocaine, and coffee. The horrors of Spider Island. He's supported by a generous grant from the Onan Foundation and the Chubb Group. Oh, she made him vomit. Ooh. All right, can the crap, Giselle. Thank you, Carolyn. You dance wonderfully. For a cow. But I'm afraid ballet is not what we're looking for. I guess it's back to my dead-end job as principal dancer with the Bolshoi. Don't be sad, honey. I tell you what, uh, come in again tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah, I've got something else for you. Okay. Lunch and gossip. All right. It's a dancer and her seeing eye dancer. Here are Gladys and Doreen. Yeah. I told you to let them in separately. These babes have been working from the start as a duo number. And we would very much like to stay together if possible. On this tour, you'll be dancing with other girls. That doesn't matter, as long as we get to go overseas. All right, you can both work with us. Please send the next one in. Yeah. Thank you. See you. The Indigo Girls of Dancing. Linda. Hello there. It's Barney Allen. Hmm. <laughs> You're a stripper? And refinisher, yes. Yeah. Time. Didn't I see you work the Sapphire Club last month? Oh, oh, help. Help. How come help. you quit that place? The boss wanted to. I didn't. Oh, are you always so picky unish? No, I'm Lithuanian. That depends on the boss. Boss, shall I dance for you? Yes, for God's sake, yes. It's not necessary. You're hired. Wait outside. Okay. Well, it's a nice day. I'm going to go home like this. The next girl, please. Strip, come on! Hey, My name is Nellie Hastings. A new one. I haven't seen her work yet, but she's always been with good troops. Let's see her dance. Great. That's good. You're hired. <laughs> Pat Nixon gets down at the White House. She studied under Rose Marie. I think her timing belt is too tight. Look out, Singapore. Brought to you by the National Garter Council. We're garters. It's the drunk ant at the wedding dance. And so it just goes on like that. Thank you. You're hired. Please wait outside. Nice. So, Mr. Blackwood has supplied all the girls we need. Fine, Georgia. Uh, go and tell the girls when costume and dance rehearsals will start. Will you please? Okay. All right. Like my transition lenses? Listen, Gary, I thought you were the boss. But you let Georgia select all the girls. I select all the girls. You? But you didn't say a word. Why should I? I have a little trick. When I keep my legs apart like so, oh, it means I'm not yeah. interested. When I cross them like this, ah, uh, then it's okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you always were a crazy guy. When do things get underway? I'm having my body reblocked tomorrow. Uh, ten days. Ten days? Well then, have a good trip. Thank you. Hundreds of dancers are loaded into a C-31 transport and dropped on Singapore. 
I never get to fly with exotic dancers, just seed salesmen from lacrosse. Singapore is right across the Hudson River. From Los Angeles, they take off from New York to go to Singapore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, there. I've looked at clouds from both sides now. And, you know, frankly, I'm not that impressed. Hmm. This is a good storm, but it's not the perfect storm. Oh, well, they had to divert around Charlie Rich's hair. We are now flying over the Pacific Ocean near Honolulu. Altitude is 15,000 feet. Wait, 1,500. Oh, crap. Does anyone know how to read these things? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Clipper 247. Clipper 247. May. We're 9,000 feet. Losing altitude. Day. Number two engine break. Slow down. Attempting emergency landing. Present position is... Uh, I think they'll pull out of it. Repeat your position. Repeat your position. I'm sitting. Damn, I can't pick him up anymore. Clipper 247. So is the beverage service over? <laughs> Hi, Clinique. Ow. Oh, Abby's running more How We Met stories. No, Mr. Hastings. I can only repeat. There's absolutely no reason yet to fear the worst. Until now, we only know that the plane caught fire and that we've lost radio contact. <laughs> well, there's absolutely nothing to be worried about. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know immediately, as soon as I hear something new. Finally, I can read Savage Love. Fuck, I spent a brief second without alcohol. Don't waste time with a cap drink. Okay, now smoke, now drink. No, now answer the phone. Blackwood Agency. No, Mr. Alberts, I don't have any further information. Mm. But of course there's a search party out there. I tell you, rescuers are looking all over for them. There's still hope, even after four days. Yes? I'll call you as soon as I hear something new. Mm. See, I was thinking of doing something. Ah, there. <laughs> Sun is rising. Oh. Well, that didn't work out, so back to this shot. Wow, almost thought we were in trouble there, flaming out and crashing at high speed into the ocean and all. You've been in the water for an hour. Would you stop chewing on my foot? <laughs> <laughs> Survival meals are so high in fat. <laughs> stop, stop falling. You're driving us all nuts. Debbie goes immediately into vacation mode. <laughs> Ooh, when do they pick up Katie Lang? Water. Just one swallow. No more today. Tomorrow you'll get another ration. Of me. <laughs> Gary, give me some water. What do you think you are? <laughs> I'm trying to tan my shins. The fifth night. We can't hold out much longer. You're starting that too, Georgia? That darkens my features. A ship has to go by here sometime. Or we've got to at least see some land. How big can the ocean be, anyway? If only they could find a desalinization plant. Water. Please give me water. I need to rinse out a few things. <gasps> Look, a bird! Oh, there! Oh, 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 Where there are birds, there must be land. Are you crazy? Give that to me. That's my high karate. <laughs> They're already planning a Playboy's Girls of the Plane Crash issue. Over there. Over where? Oh, oh, there. Land. There's land. Help me paddle. We've got to make it. Paddle with your hands. Or your panties or your breasts or whatever. If there's land, there's got to be a day spa. Don't stop now. 
We'll make it. Isn't that far now? Then we'll be safe. I see a tall Spaniard in a white suit with a midget. Wait, I forgot my purse on the plane. I hope the natives like fan dancing. Okay, let me get out, out sharp, coral, out sharp, puffer fish, owie, 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 owie. Ow, electric eel, ow, 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 my nails, ow, bullhead. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I can't go on anymore. Come, I'll help you. No, you go the five feet to shore without me. <laughs> Let's pretend we're evolving. An Exxon girl tanker ran aground. There you are, Georgia. Just north of Florida. Lie down. I can't go anymore. Oh, I can't wait to get these pantyhose off. They must have filmed this during an eclipse. Hey, the catch of the day. <laughs> they should just start putting handles on women for easy carrying. Oh, the fish are averting their eyes right now. She got totally drunk on the raft. <laughs> right. So they sat around floating for a while, and now they're exhausted. Jeez. I just don't. The woman is a cold-blooded creature and must lay on rocks to warm up. Hey! Camera lenses were crafted from hardened mud back then. Oh, oh, you gotta get back in the figurines, honey. Oh, my neck. I gotta go back and get Cameron Mannheim. It may take a while. No. No. I want to be put by Debbie. <laughs> but I'm going to fashion you all into a crude hut. It's kind of an early Carmine Ragufo. Georgia, it? darling. Make me some coffee and, oh, get the Coast Guard on the line. I can't believe Northwest only offered us mini pretzels. Oh, oh Gary. Oh. Oh. There, there. Take comfort in my beefiness. It's a giant sea donut. We're saved. Oh, no. It's the raft. Ah, stupid. Mike, what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to extricate myself from this giant web. Well, be careful, will you? And don't disturb the giant fly. That's our lunch. Oh, shit. Okay, you know, I'm not going to go into how you made a giant web. I just want to know why. Well, I think the more important question is what possessed you to leap blindly across the bridge and get caught in the first place? I didn't. Would you leap. routinely spring out of the theater like a gazelle? Yeah, Crow, how do I get out of here? Good question. Can you excrete oily, webproof spittle from your mouth? Oh, yeah, I think so. Hang on. Let me Good. Just... Yeah. Of course I can't do him. Hey, hey, I'm not the one who sprinted headlong into a large and very obvious web. <laughs> Here's some roasted potato oh. bug and dip. <laughs> this web's going to have us eating like kings. <laughs> Mike, what the hell are you doing? Uh, apparently he was pogo-sticking blindfolded across the bridge. Oh, too bad. Let's eat. I had no idea there were so many giant insects in the satellite. Well, I had no idea they'd be so delicious. Yeah. Smell that. Hey, mm. hey. No, there's a giant spider. Help me! Yeah, Help that's me. a pretty lame impression of David Hedison in The Fly, Mike. Come on, Crow. The giant mantis fingers are bubbling hot with cheese. Yummy. <laughs> See you, Mike. Oh, well, I'm dead, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay. Shoot. Hey. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ooh. That corn's looking good there. Mm. 
and Hedonism too is born. I've enslaved the natives. Water. That's what dried soup mix needs. <laughs> Ah, the girls deserve to see my thickness. Do we have to watch this? <laughs> water! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Water! Oh, it's wonderful! Oh, water! 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 The best way to get it is to lick it off my chest. The graceful, nimble dancers. I am one lucky bastard. Oh, I hope this water isn't fattening. Okay, girls, that's enough. Let's go and have a look around. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ready? Let's go. But I'm severely dehydrated. Can I drink more? No, we must get moving. Oh, Feeling better now? Don't, Don't lag behind. I'll help you. Uh, let's go visit Brooke Shields and Christopher right. Atkins. Heels are too high for here. Kate, okay, your scarf. Okay, baby. Coming? What, he's not going to carry us this time? Sure. Um, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, anyone? Mm -hmm. Ow. My tender Ow. man skin. Careful, girls. Don't let my raw sexuality overwhelm you. Ow, the thorns are coming down. The headline is... What a strange silence. Well, let's keep going. I refuse to comment on what you said. Hot, muddy, foreign chick action. Ouch, my shoe. Feels like a sneaker, my ass. Gary, look what I just found. A stick. A hammer. There must be someone on this island. Really? A hammer with a long handle. That's me. It must be for the purpose of excavating some sort of metal. Most probably uranium. Can you eat it? <laughs> yeah, you can try it. Come on, let's go and find out. Be sure and murmur and coo some more, too. Uh-huh. Good. Yeah, keep it up now. That's it. Hey, Susie, I don't hear you. And people complain that there aren't any strong roles for women. Come on, hurry up. Look. Come here. Duck, swim. Look, a cabin. It's the Leatherface residence. <laughs> I call the bathroom first. No, me. No, I get it. <laughs> Charlotte's killing spree. Oh. He's gorgeous. Let's get out of here. All right, now watch how man screams in horror. He was caught in the middle of a cheerleading move. A dead man in a huge web. Oh, I was looking at the wallpaper. Oh, <laughs> murmur, murmur. Slightly more intense murmur. Murmur, murmur. <laughs> We've got spirit. Yes, we do. We've got spirit. How about... Uh, Rexel. Get rid of the dead guy. Turn on the LP tanks. Put out the dock. We're ready to go. Could I be in your cluster? She was appointed acting Gary in his absence. Damn, I was just about to pinch her tush. The poor professor, when he made the last entry in the diary, he didn't know how horribly he would die. Well, his discovery of the uranium deposits didn't help him any, even if it does represent a tremendous fortune. Well, gotta tighten my shirt. We must keep it from the girls that Professor Green had a premonition of his fate. You see here, in the last paragraph, he says he thought something terrible was going to happen. He just felt the danger. 
I wonder where that peculiar hissing came from that he always heard. The audience. Oh, Gary, I'm terribly scared. I'm so afraid. Don't worry, Georgia. Oh, okay, I won't, thanks. As long as I'm around, nothing will happen to you. I promise. Look into my nose now. Hmm? Hi, Georgia. I'm hungry. I've made something for you to eat. Lucky there were some canned goods here. Uh, wardrobe, we have a birth seam problem. Mmm, food. It must have been a really gigantic spider to be able to spin such a huge web. Maybe there are more of them, but a bite like that couldn't have come from a spider. Aren't you at all afraid? Afraid? I can't change anything. I'm terribly afraid something awful is going to happen. Unlike the plane crash. <gasps> Look! <gasps> it's our friends who just left. <gasps> we found the professor's trunk full of stuff. They'll certainly be useful. Boxer shorts and his truss. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, we can sell this stuff to the others. If we divide the provisions up carefully, they should last for a month. What did you say, Georgia? A month? Do you really think we'll be here a whole month? I don't know. Thank you, Georgia. We have to go tomorrow to the highest cliff and light a smoke signal to try and attract a ship. 10, 11, 12. Hey, they brought Virginia Graham along. Hmm. Give me that shirt. No, it belongs oh. to me. After all, I found it. But my dress is in worse shape than yours. No, I want to have it. Give it to me. Give it, Give it, me. it to me. Give it to me. Stop that fighting. Give me that shirt. You both get no shirts. Georgia? Cook us for dinner. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. I suppose we could have guessed that Georgia would be getting it. That sheer fabric would make a good shirt. Mm -hmm. Haven't you ever noticed that Gary pampers her? What's this? Where did you get the pullover? I found it here, if you don't have anything against ha. it. <laughs> now stop it, or I'll take care of both of you. Give me something to drink, Georgia. Mm. Rice vinegar is fine, thanks. Take it easy, Gary. We're all a little nervous. It's really no wonder. Uh, don't you think I'd rather be in a bar in Singapore with a nice cold drink than to be on this godforsaken place? With eight hot babes? <laughs> <laughs> Drinking this horrible stuff. Horrible? Uh. <laughs> Darn heat. Mm. It didn't stay in the air. Look out, will you? Stop making so much noise. If you don't like it, you can do the dishes. Or do you think I'm doing this for my own pleasure? Stop blowing your top and dry up, will you? I can't wait till the spiders eat you. <sighs> I simply can't stand this frightful heat any longer. Ah, the movie reveals its true purpose. throwing your dirty blast someplace else. Little I want to sleep. Excuse me, Charo. Hey, I have some slim fast bars. We're saved. So, anyone want a cat fight or... I sure hope you don't lose your lipstick. You'd hardly be able to get along on this island without it. Her accent changed three times in one sentence. Spider! It's about time. Now I'll shower. Give it here. Mm. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to sleep outside. Night. Me too. Good night. Ooh. Good night. Good night, Kate. Tomorrow I'm going to try to pull my pants up to my chest. Taking off clothes music. <laughs> Reporting for bed, sir. I'm getting mixed signals from her. <laughs> Try crossing your legs now, pal. You know, guys who play the muted trumpet love these movies. It's the only time they get work. Ma'am? Hey, hey, lady! Over here! Turn around, come on! Okay, okay. <laughs> he has Torgo area. Good. <laughs> I found the professor's revolver. Get some sleep, Gary. I can't. I think I'll go off for a little walk. But don't worry. I'll be back very shortly. This condescending pat will hold you till I get back. <laughs> oh, I am so nude under this. Man, this is too much even for me, Mike. Can we see a couple of elderly scientists in lab coats talking nonstop? Is that a 
I'm feeling so, I don't know, erotic or something. Hey, this is not the Amelia Earhart story. Who are they kidding? Ooh, I'm glad I added a porch. With my luck, I'd crash with ZZ Top. <laughs> I'm impotent. Um, you're in my writhing space. Gary. Wow, can you really do that through pants? Oh, Gary. Pull your slacks up higher. <laughs> oh, I'd love to braid your back hair. Oh. Faces have actually melded. Gary! Your infidelity mildly irritates me. Damned hate. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> yes, I've been unfaithful, but it was like 87 degrees. Okay, come here. Hey, hold still, will you? Hang on. There. It's also kind of windy, that too. And high humidity. Good chest rubbing weather. Whoa, slipped in a spider flop there. I've been lifting, what do you think? So this is a sexy, spider-filled version of the Tempest. Hey, come into my parlor. You see, if it was in the low 70s, I would never have jammed my tongue down her throat. I fell out of the tree! <laughs> Gary, thy lord commandeth, tug your pants down a titch and put on a shirt. Since when do spiders need to expend so much effort to climb? Hey, a nice thick one down there. Ah, spider pile! Oh, you want a hickey? I'll give you a damn hickey. <laughs> Red lobster snow crabs finally fight back. Get off me, you exoskeletal piece of... Coating of oil will protect me. Uh, uh, too many malts. Ugh. Damn, just when girls began to like me. Oh, Harry Palms, mother was right. I'm going. If you're not going with me, I'm going alone. Stay here. Don't leave us alone. You won't find Gary. My little brother's messing with our tent. And so our story ends. Don't. Oh, just leave everything as it is. We must find Gary. Babs and Ann, you go in that direction. Where in the world is Kate? Here, Georgia. You two go in that direction. Kate and May will go along with me. Wait, who told them to get dressed? Yeah. Hurry up. What about me? You, you remain here and put things in order while we're gone. Huh. Start by alphabetizing our shoes. The endangered wild Daryl Hannah. Hey, Gary! I know you're out here. I can smell your brill cream. Would you quit that whistling? You're making me nervous. I'm not afraid when I whistle. Uh, don't buy extra strength, Biore. The king approacheth. Gary! 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 Put out a dish of oil. Come on, we gotta keep looking. Without me, I'm staying right here. I've got feet like Billy Pilgrim. Did you hear anything? No. But there's something moving there. I don't hear anything. They're all dubbed by the same person. Gary! Hey, Gladys! Don't leave me alone! Then hurry up. Gary! Gary! 
Gary, Gary, I like that. Gary, Gary, Gary. Yeah. Gary, Gary. I'm Gary. Look for me. Gary. Who's gonna tell us when to eat and when to go to bed? Gary. I won't go out with a half man, half spider. I'm sorry. Okay, honey, you're alone. You can ease up on the sex now. Mm, feast your eyes on my good stuff, nature. Hmm. Well, hello, shrubbery. I wasn't even being sexy till the dirty sax music started. Skirt is more slit than skirt. She's a sexy Henry David Thoreau. I could make these into primitive pasties. Strange that she's a published medical ethicist. Do I turn you on too, Brooke? <laughs> it's a touchdown behind her. Should we say Gary? Oh, broke a heel. Me too. Me too. I'll cover her coffin in a flag slit real high. <laughs> hmm, not real. Now we know. How awful. You know, Susan, before she died, she told me she thought you were fat. She's been strangled. Spider. Georgia, who's next? Um, that would be a Ms. Pearl Forrester. Forrester, hey? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna like her, Gary. She's great. We. Woohoo! Huzzah! Pearl, something's happening. What's up, Cotton Ball? What's up? I'm taking some dancers to Singapore. Mm. You do well there, the sky's the limit. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Singapore! And then off, off Broadway, and then off Broadway, and then Broadway! Oh, good luck, you guys! <laughs> good, you. Mm -hmm. good luck, Mama! Good luck, hell! This is for a shattered fame! Right now, I couldn't hate you more! Spread out, you two! Next. What? Son of a... Beat it, has been. Okay, baby, you're in. Yes! <laughs> Eat it, loser. No. Oh, Gary likes that, yeah. Ah, uh, that's great, <laughs> sister. Now give us a little leg. Leg? Oh, sure, brain guy. Oh, yep. Oh, it's no. horrible. 
Oh, Georgia, the professor's been killed. Gary's disappeared, and now we've just buried Linda. Which one of us is going to be next? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to Anne. die. Anne, now stop it, will you? Stop it before you drive us all crazy. Not me, stop not it. me. And I tell you, they'll never find us, never. But I'm sure the police are moving heaven and hell to find us, honey. We'll be fine, ladies. The police? The cops I know. If they catch you speeding a little bit or find you drunk, they send you right off to the cooler. But you just let somebody get lost and they won't lift a finger. <laughs> Do you believe that they'll go running around for a few broads who are lost? But how are they to know <laughs> that we've been rescued and on this little island? Rescued? Who's been rescued? We, perhaps? Show me the island. <laughs> Show me where does it lie in the ocean. Show it to me. By the time they find us, we'll all be dead. You, you and you, one after the other. Bang. Bang? Get a hold of yourself. You're only getting all the girls worked up. Great. <laughs> well, if it isn't Miss Georgia, of all people, it has to be you. Who has Gary and Linda on her conscience? Who? Uh, I'll be right there. Hang on. Bab, do you know what you're saying? Exactly. Through your jealousy. You should never have left Linda alone in the cabin. Shut up, will you? What can Georgia do about Linda's death? Take your hands off me, or I'll break your arm. Just you try that, baby. Take that. Oh, oh man, I don't think I can take another girl fight. Yeah, let me see. Mm. So there will be whippings. Okay, I can roll with that. <laughs> Carmelite nuns, the real story. Oh. Uh, underpants, so... Servo? 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 He fainted. Oh. Get up. Oh. 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 Sorry, Mike. It's all a little much for me. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Oh. No. Easy. Steady. Here, leave him by. The Lennon sisters were fighting more and more. Man, they're future governors of Minnesota. No. 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 I usually have to go to a website to see this kind of thing, like uh, nakedwrestlinggiantesses.com. Sure. Daisy Mays, it's such. <laughs> Backstage at Little Fair, Joan Osborne and Jewel have another brawl. Oh, you have nice skin. You start with a little foundation. And, well, okay, I'm trying to help. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, where should we spill this oil, Captain? Come, come! Is the ship getting any closer? I don't know. Come on, throw it on. I don't know. Yeah, should I get some more? No, no, that's enough. That's giving enough smoke. Kathy Lee Gifford tried to rescue him, but they turned her down. They must see us. They can't just leave us here. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Stop all that screaming at you. are driving me crazy. Let me go. Hello, take us with you. Damn California. It never helps anyone. Hello! We're over here. <laughs> Please don't forget us. Hello. Yell with me. They must hear us. Hello! Hello there. <laughs> take us with you. May, it sailed right by. Sailed by. Even so, we said, Hello, take us with you. We'll never get home now. Never again. 28 days. 28 long days and nights. That's how late my videos are. <laughs> and nobody even knows we're here. And today a ship sails right by us. Our rescue so close. And May. Turns out we're on Catalina. Oh, Georgia, a ship. There, a ship. Oh, it's gone. How terrible. And we only have enough food left for three days. We'll have to eat the Hormel stuff. Anne! Anne! Come on back. Come on. Look, they're missing a huge, nutritious salt lick right under their feet. So they founded the Isle of Lesbos. You know, with no men there, they'll stop shaving their legs, their armpits, their upper lips. Huh. Basically, they'll start looking like men. Oh. Here. You go ahead and start unloading. I'll take the oars up. Okay, Bob. Would you at least get out of the boat? What are you carrying the oars so far away for? Afraid the mermaids will steal our boat? 
Don't talk to me about women on this godforsaken island. You're my belly warmer. You'd have taken one along as part of your ration. I wanted to, but it wasn't approved. Tough. Now, there's no need for tough. <clears throat> hey, come on over here and give me a hand, will you? Okay, I'm coming. Take it easy. Easy now. Easy now. Boy, that junk is heavy. Man, how many heads did you put in this? Bob, you know, I'm sort of glad the professor picked us out to help him with his work, even though it's lonely over here. Good Ray. Give me some whiskey. There aren't any chicks in at least 'em whiskey. You only think about whiskey and women. And drugs. You better change or you'll never get any place. Get off my back. I'm sick of your preaching. Take the professor, for example. <laughs> uh, that guy's always been lucky. Well, we explore all sorts of islands for six months. He comes with us once and finds the stuff. And of all places on this miserable oh, island. Out. Stop grumbling, will ya? Uh, go on. I'll say ta again. Oh. I'll go and look for the professor now. Okay. Get on out of here, will ya? <laughs> In the meantime, I'll unload. And uh, have fun. Yeah, sure. Remember, we work for the professor and we've been gone six months. Hey, they have a Swiss colony booze basket. Now to balance my electrolytes. <laughs> Drink it and hear girls giggle. Aha! Oh, damn, there's a tree in my way. I can hear footsteps. Does the tree have wood flooring? Or... I'll impress the ladies by impersonating a sloth. <laughs> this poor guy thinks they're manatees. We're nude and have no nipples and we're uniformly colored. <laughs> I'm in the deep end. <laughs> it's cookie and we're swimming and we're nude and we are swimming and it's cookie and we have no nipples and we're in. Mmm, pearl drops. Ah, yes, the hustle and bustle of city life. Honk, honk. Jack, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, wedge into the crevasse. Man, the best thing I ever found in a tide pool was a sea urchin. There's a giant woman swimming off the cliffs of Dover. A sea spider's attacking me. Scrape my stomach on the rocks. Huh? Wow. Whole island full of gingers. It's all right. Look over there. <gasps> uh, okay. What? Yes? What are we looking at? Hmm. Meanwhile, Singapore suffers through a severe dancer shortage. Dixie chicks go big game hunting. How terrible. The whip in the cabin. Uh, the gun. Wayne LaPierre's on the island. Gary took it with him that night. It'll make a neat accessory. Uh, uh, -huh. uh I'm only sleeping. I see you stealing that. And this is his bracelet. Most of the candy hasn't been eaten off yet. Where is Gary? Please, Georgia, let's go. I'm so afraid. <laughs> Perhaps there are more spiders around. Well, at least I got a kicky scarf out of this deal. <laughs> hey! Come and sit with me. What do you want from me? Well, give you three guesses. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty pissed about you attacking me. I was going to ask you for the time. <laughs> I'm laying on a dead man-o-war. 
You know, Burt Lancaster, he's not. Not even Burt Lahr. Georgia! 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 Georgia. Georgia. Here we are. Gladys is gone down by the lagoon. We were swimming when suddenly she was pulled into the reef. And she screamed terribly. Who was it? Didn't you see anyone? No, it all happened so quickly. A scream? And she'd already disappeared. Maybe the spider killed the professor. Hmm? And Linda. We found a gigantic spider. Dead. It was shot with the professor's own revolver. And Gary's bracelet was laying there beside it. What's that noise? Allons the fond de la patrie, le jour de glory est arrivé. Hands up! Stop or I'll shoot. Give us all your pampering. Hey! Hello, baby! Hands up! Anything you wish. Get going into the cabin. What a coincidence. That's where I wanted to go. I said get going. I'll have Babs mess you up. I'm all righty. I think he's handsome. He doesn't look so terrible. They're the really dangerous ones. Too bad. The woman sounds like Urkel. I just escaped from Bo Just. Okay, turn around. Mm hmm. Where's Gladys? Spying on the Stevenses. What did you do with her? Let me speak to him. Where is Gladys? Gladys? <laughs> no idea. I don't know the young lady, unfortunately. We just got here, down on the lagoon. You see, Georgia? Where we were swimming. And that's where Gladys disappeared. On the lagoon? Hmm. <laughs> ah. Will you terrorize me again tomorrow? <laughs> don't laugh. You'll be sorry about that. Huh? Oh, I don't know. Just look at what's coming down the path. Huh? Mr. McFeely? Gladys! Oh, Gladys! He attacked me and now we're engaged. Where were you? My friend Bob. We worked together for Professor Green. Well, he's a big uranium research man. I met him before in the reeds. A researching researcher. Then you had better luck than I. I was nearly shot by that. That is, if the revolver had been loaded. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. And you? You here on a summer vacation? Hmm. Fine summer vacation. Mm. If we hadn't found this island, we wouldn't be here to tell the story. We crashed on our way to Singapore. Ah, then you're the American dance troupe that got lost. Yes. Well, how do you know that? Well, all the newspapers in the world have carried your story. What? Mm -hmm. I bet Professor Green was surprised when all these girls showed up. Ha <laughs> ha. Professor Green is dead. Well said. What's with the professor? Dead? What? Uh -huh. He's hanging in a huge spider web. That's dead? how we found what? him. Linda is dead, and Gary, our manager, has also disappeared. What's that, dead? Spider web? Dead? Do you really believe that? By the way, our ship is coming back in two days. We must radio information right away so that they can send an agent to clear the matter up. Dead? You mean it? A ship's coming by? Our expedition ship. Then it will take us with it? Yeah, of course. We're oh, rescued. Yeah. Well, well, not so fast, Gladys. I have to sample the others. Wow, she should depilate. Look, isn't it pretty? The boys will be surprised when they see how we've dressed ourselves up in our island costumes. Uh, boys? Who's there, a Cub Scout troop? <laughs> and they promised us real whiskey, kids. I can hardly wait. Hold this. Uh -huh. Shall I put this in my hair? Uh -huh. You look great, just like a real islander. <laughs> well, I am. Haven't I been here for four oh. weeks? I can't believe that we'll be back in New York in a couple of days. When we tell them at home what has happened to us, nobody's going to believe us. Where are George and Ned? Uh -oh. Outside on the veranda. Oh, oh, oh. Mike, circles down Tom again. Oh, uh, hey, with Tom. Ship. Wake up. I wonder if a lot of the will be Sorry, on board Mike. when we get there. Flash. I hope so. Yeah. Huh? What's important for me is that Jimmy's there. Who is Jimmy? My friend, we're going to be married. Even though he's invisible. What if he's got eyes for another? You don't believe that yourself. I'd scratch his eyes out, and he knows it. Kids, we made radio contact with the ship, and we'll be picked up tomorrow. And tonight we'll dance and really <laughs> raise the room. Wow, these Amish barn raisings get wilder all the time. Now I'm going to call the rescue boat, tell them to take their time. Next dance is with me, Ron. <laughs> well, she dances as well as Bruce Springsteen. This dance for hire. <laughs> I 
okay now? Suck in the gut? Unfortunately, she took lessons at the Arthur Miller Dance Studio. Well, I think I broke a rib tightening my belt. Tell me, what kind of a girl is that? Usually quiet and one of the nicest. She's away from home for the first time. Her folks live in Minnesota. The governor's a huge, bald Nazi. I've never seen her so relaxed. Or puffy. I'd like to dance with her. But my crotch stuffing restricts me. Hi, you've been looking for a bloated man with a scarf? So, Minnesota. That must be passive-aggressive. You know, anthropologists would call this a mating dance. What do you say? <laughs> so, you into scouting? Twirling, you must be mad! Mike, could you inject me into this film? <laughs> I'm worried that Eric Von Zipper's gonna show up. This is how I view the world. Everyone else is out doing this while I sit in my underwear eating a toasted cheese sandwich and drinking an iced beer. Pretty accurate. Come on, Bobby. I want to be all alone with you. How about the house? Not in the house. Some place where we'll be all alone. Uh -huh. You know what? We'll meet at the lagoon. Okay. But so that no one will notice. Good. We'll meet in 15 minutes on the trail down to the water. All set? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, but be on time. I hate waiting. Why can't this be on every channel, like the State of the Union Address? <laughs> great. Thanks. Hmm, women are booze. Women are booze. Hey, women and booze. Having a good time with the chicks? Nah, mine's from Minnesota. Shut your mouth. Falling for her? Huh. <laughs> Minnesota, huh? Boy, that Harold Stassen is a bright young face, huh? <laughs> I drooled in it. I hope that's okay. Thank you. Oh, didn't think you'd drink that much. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you always so quiet? You know, <laughs> when you've lived on yeah. islands for a long time, you forget how to say nice things to girls. Well, try it once. Uh, do you like bugs? Well, I'm really glad that your airplane crashed. Well, that's a nice thing to say. I mean... Yeah, I'm glad your puppy died. I, I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten to know you. And, and I'm glad about that. Oh, you say that to everybody. No, Anne. I don't know any girls. <laughs> when I think of the ones I do, I'd rather work. Well, I must say, you certainly are a master at paying compliments. Perhaps you're... Perhaps you're right. I should pay more attention to young women. Maybe I wouldn't be so gay. Sometimes I envy Bob. He's so uninhibited and carefree. Bob, any girl is good enough for him. <laughs> a real man is interested in only one girl. Then I'm a... Then I'm a real man. How? Ow! Because I'm really interested only in one girl. Who's that? What does she look like? Cute? Elegant? Elegant? Mm, on the contrary. Mm. A little bit disheveled and neglected, but uh, very pretty. Oh, no, I didn't mean you. Sorry. Her name's Anne. Oh, Joe. That's one of the nicest things that's ever been said to me. Well, I meant it. I'm really fond of you. In a one-night stand sort of way. You know, wh when you leave for New York, here, so you won't forget me too quickly. Get this sweaty thing off me, you creep. But, Joe, please don't let me wait too long. Ow, I really hurt. Come on, I got 12 minutes left. What's in 12 minutes? My next rendezvous. Oh. Mm. Are you attracted to my Jeff Conaway hair? Hello, big boy. Oh, hello, Jessica Rabbit. Well, I'll 
be darned. That's not bad either. Hey, all right. You really don't know where to start here. <laughs> I tried to tackle my fidgety sister, but I fell. What the hell is that? <laughs> where, ah. I'm Curve E Voluptuous. Huh, your body language is confusing. You're telling me something. Okay, you need me to paint your house? Let me come over there. <laughs> so, should we get our filthy raincoats on to watch this? The Many Loves of Michael Landon. An injured member of the Swedish bikini team. Don't crush my begonias. The Horrors of Spider Island. I like her mink tool belt. Nice. Can I look at you some more? Just gonna adjust your bra strap in my teeth. Settling the movie. I checked your epiglottis, it's fine. Hey, try yourself a she-mail, pal. Bob really never follows through on anything, does he? Jackie Gleason's Music for Lovers Only. <laughs> He's gonna die of peroxide inhalation. Let it. Oh, you're here. Mm. What's on your mind, huh? Nothing. In love? No, I just need to prune my chest. Mm -hmm. And you really think that Bobby's the right man for you? Well, he attacked me. <laughs> I don't know. I only know one thing. I love him. Well, I love his groping. Mm, I hope he doesn't let you down. I'd be very sorry for you. Gosh, I love Michelle shocked. Don't you? Daddy-o, how about throwing those lamps on somebody else for a change? Yeah, baby. Like you swing, too. All right, let's check on your totally monogamous boyfriend. Hey. I rub yeast into my hair every morning. Come on, Gladys, it's not worth it. Don't bother me. Gingham spider boyfriend head. Hey, Bob, 50 bucks says I can beat your arm wrestling. <laughs> hey, Georgia, give me a drink, too. Thanks. Bobby. Yeah? Do you have to turn all the girls' heads? Who, me? They turn mine. Hmm. Yeah, this is the kind of guy that they warn neighborhoods about these days. Hi, Georgia. Hi. That dance sure made me thirsty. <laughs> Georgia, aren't you at all excited about going home soon? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's drink to that. Yeah. Well, here's to the trip. Cheers. Cheers. Man, I'd pay $11,000 to be there right Do now. Do you think people are still talking about us? Of course. Now all the more, since we found you. Will the papers print our story? Oh, baby. Will the papers print your story? The magazines will carry your pictures. And what do you think radio and TV will do with you? Make me show my knockers? You'll be amazed at the reception you get back in New York. Maybe they'll drive us down Broadway. With confetti and all. Mm, probably not. In any case, you become a world-famous troupe and... Hmm. Who knows? Maybe you'll wind up in Hollywood. Oh, Bobby, I might make it yet. Thank goodness I still have a few minutes left. Because my next rendezvous is very important. And this time, who's the lucky one? If you won't tell anyone, Gladys. And a few pips. <laughs> Bobby, hmm? Gladys is a fine girl. Up until now, she's been shy of men. Please, leave her alone. Exactly. I've always yearned for a girl like this. What's he doing? Never found one. Ever eat glass? <laughs> Why am I telling you all this anyway? Bob. Wow. So, Mike, if you're a woman and you're in a plane crash, 
You instantly become languid, helpless, and sex-starved. And you murmur a lot. Hmm. Well, uh, let's just see. Okay. Ah! 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 What? Well, there you have it. Yep, survive a plane crash and you do indeed become languid and listen to sex stuff. And you murmur a lot, mm -hmm. even guys like us. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. Let's auger this baby in one more time. <laughs> I'm going to marry an inhibited pork roast. Oh, Joe. I'm so happy. Well, that's what I expected. Same old story. You're nice to a man, and before you know it, he's getting thrashed. <laughs> okay, your turn. Anne, I must tell you something right away. Come on. Hey, Anne. Stop kissing her. Let her run. They're all good for nothing. They're all the same. They're big deal hair and fancy hips. Come on, let's have a drink. Sure. <laughs> Suck it in. Well, Gladys, it's just as I told you earlier. Well, don't you see that Bob is just the kind of man who wants nothing else and to play around with women without a single serious thought in his head? You're right. I don't want to see him again. Gladys. Can I let it out? <sighs> Look, Bob. You can keep those remarks about Anne to yourself. Get it? And and blah 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 blah. And. <laughs> Don't tell me you're serious, fella. You haven't fallen for that little broad by any chance. Well, good luck then. And what if I were? I have. Then I'd feel sorry for you. What are dancers? Hot goods for cold nights. Ooh. Or do you think your Anne is different? Hmm? For a guy like you, the worst girl in the world is too good. But I like Tanya Harding. <laughs> oh, thanks. Now I smell like Midori. No. Not here. Come on. Let's take this inside. <laughs> My famous rubber arm puss punch. Oh. Wait. Not here. Over by the sun vase. Uh -huh. Ah, he learned from his master, Mo Howard. At this point, I would suggest the name Spider Island is misleading. Hmm. Uh -huh. Ah, I had dog dew on my boot. Masters of stage nudging. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm bleeding internally. <laughs> Me too. Oh, hi, hair. I gotta run. I got a date. <laughs> Thanks for touching my nipple before you left. Boy, defending my misogyny really takes commitment. Okay, see, this is neither bikini women nor spiders. It's, it's really pointless. Yeah. yeah, he saw an air molecule that respects women. Hello, Gladys. Oh, leave me alone, you. You stole my drunk, filthy boyfriend. What's the matter with you, kid? Have you gone crazy? You ask me that? No man in this world... Even if he belonged to your best friend, would be safe with you around. Are you talking about Bobby? Who else? But you can keep him. I'm through with him. I've got news for you. I'm Clint Howard. Bobby just made it clear to me that you're the kind of girl that he's been looking for. Do you mean that, Babs? If it weren't true, do you think I'd leave him? Babs! 
go to him. He's waiting for you. I'm gonna go bench. Look at that shadow, it's Sideshow Bob. Bob. Still, the movie's better than a Midsummer Night's sex comedy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't respect when women are just toys for me. Oh, yeah. Say, there's a crotch. Oh, wrong kind. The Horrors of Spider Island! Hmm. Boy, these woman hater cigarettes are good. Soundtrack by Schroeder. I'm so lucky that Bobby went through a complete personal transformation in the last 45 seconds. Um, where the hell is he going? Hello? Oh, man. I'm not just wondering if there's a point to the movie now. I'm wondering if there's a point to anything. Uh... I should move on to hating older women. Bobby, what kind of china shall we register for? I styled my hip fur for you. You better hurry, he's probably French kissing a conch. And another protagonist disappears over the horizon. Christine Todd Whitman on vacation. Bobby! <gasps> Finally, the hundreds of STDs take their toll. Oh, I see. So you'd rather die than marry me. Someone uh, tattooed a ball-peen hammer on him. That was a, a scream. I mean, it was really funny. He sounded like Gladys. And Bobby's also gone. I'll look for them. You get dressed and follow me. No, I'm undressed. What is he thinking? Spice, 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 spider, spice, 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 spider. Ooh, spider shin splints. He's got less back hair as a spider. Hmm. Pay no attention, I'm just an outcropping. Oh, mama. I wonder if my light days with wings will actually get me airborne. When did Duke Ellington do this soundtrack? Now with my spider-like grace. Oh, man. It's hard. Hey, a pod of exotic dancers. Don't you want to see my segment in Thorax? Damn potato gun. You go up ahead and try and help Gladys. I'll go back and get the ammunition. Quick! Uh, I really like spiders. I never did any experiments on them in school, honest. <laughs> oh, thank you, movie. That's sweet. It's nice. I get her lip wax. How does this movie really feel about women, I wonder? I'll be right back. I think I got something that can help. Another character flees the film. Bob, do you have a breath mint? Oh, huh. so I guess I'll reload the boat then. <laughs> Bobby. Man, will he tell God I punched him? I'm a sprite again. We. Come on, I kicked the crap out of you. Come on. I thought spiders were supposed to go scurrying under the bathtub when they saw us. All right, I'm going to pick.
pick you up and throw you into my web, which I made with machine tools in my garage. <laughs> what was that exchange? <laughs> yeah. uh, look, whoever you are, I got these spiders I need to deal with. Okay, hey. Where are the bullets? Too late. He's here. Hey, you stepped on my web, you jerk. Are you scared of a spider? Come on out here. <laughs> I had a garden spider do this to me once. Hid in my bathroom and call the police. I want Joe Frazier. Maybe I've always just misunderstood what spiders are. Large, hairy bipeds with pants. Good, Georgia. K keep distracting him while I think of something. Gary. Yep, you got me. Man. Now it just seems kind of stupid. Well, I'm glad it's dark. You know, I can imagine my own action scene here. Try saying Gary to him. Uh, oh man, my spinneret's backing up in my pants. That doesn't do any good. Oh, that's a shame. Come on, sunshine. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, oh. Hey, there's more pretzel sticks. <laughs> um, Larry, Harry, Barry, what the hell is it? I have a good mind to put this up my butt and entertain it, Lollapalooza. Let's take the cabin, man. Wait, each of you take a torch, then we'll chase him. We can only destroy him with fire. Okay. Here. Remind me why we're listening to you. Let's just check in as to who was getting his butt kicked by a spider and who wasn't. All right, come on. Come on. We must surround you. Two of you take that path over there. Two go through the bushes. The rest of you come with me. Nobody should go alone. Always go in pairs. Come on. So go alone and panic? Is that what you said? This is good chase music. Well, suddenly I want to do the Charleston. Gary, 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 yeah. Gary, Gary, Gary. Paparazzi. Oh, Cindy, your torch is so cute. I just can't wear a torch. It's my hips, I think. Come on, he's over there. Man, I would love to be chased by these villagers. Yeah, that'd be great. Surrounded, beaten, and burnt. And... No, no, that's not what I meant. Oh. Well, it's just my thing, I guess. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> please, please let me live. I'll eat aphids off your rose bushes. I promise. So, um, is he strong? Hey, listen, bub. He's got radioactive blood. Oh, sorry. But it just takes me off. Come on, please. Is he strong? Is this their titillation trump card we're seeing here? Dancers chasing a half-man, half-spider? I do prefer the sweaty lounging and beefy spooning the way there was almost nudity there a couple of okay, times. Okay, okay. Just, just ask it. Shoot! I usually retreat to my little hole in the barn, climb up my string to the rafters. Damn. Uh, we're over here. Oh, the whole movie just up and ran away from us, huh? <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna go on break, Mike. It's been ten years. I think I'm owed one. You cover me? Uh, can can you do that? Yes. You know, they need a big shirtless bird to come in and scoop up the spider. Maybe we lost him. They will not come if I build it. Shut up. <laughs> You know, the Dukes of Dixieland also did the Psycho soundtrack, I think. Well, there, I'm back. Feel much better. Good. Oh, good. Should take a break. <laughs> Stop! The quicksand starts here. All right, the quicksand, remember? I'm sterile, don't touch me. Ah, I 
I skitter lightly across the top of the mud. Oh, Joe, you're thinking. Distributing my weight evenly over my eight legs, making my way delicately. Oh. Just leave with dignity, Earl. Oh. Okay, so I'm no water spider. I hit egg sacs in your luggage. Let it end. And continue living. As a general rule, I'm not sure I agree. <laughs> wow, he found out too late that cocoa wheats can't be beat. Well, they gotta stop at Praying Mantis Island for supplies. The bad news is they were picked up by Captain Ron. <sighs> shrimp kebabs, shrimp gumbo, shrimp ice cream, shrimp skin coats, shrimp hubcaps, shrimp contact lenses, shrimp based religion. Okay. I can't believe we ran around in our underwear so much. Come on, girls. Babs, Kate. I want to sleep on a bed of breasts. So anyway, that was my experience on the island with the girls when I became a spider. Did it teach me anything? Maybe not, but, you know, really, in the end, it, hey. <laughs> what the... So, you want to end your movie that way, huh? <laughs> okay, get bent. We're out of here. <laughs> Shrimp personal watercraft. Hey, turkey legs. Hey, bloaty. I'm going to make myself a Braunschweiger melt you in. You know it. <laughs> I'll burn. Yeah. I, uh, monster. Who is clearly Mike. Gee, what happened, Mike? Oh, I got bit by a giant spider on my way in from the theater, so now I'm a giant spider. Yeah, you're going to see that. Uh, yeah, I, I got to say, though, Mike, you look even less like a spider than that guy Gary did in the movie. Yeah. yeah. Think so? Yeah, you're still like 99.9999999% human. Mm, no, I'm a, I'm a huge spider. I uh, I got this giant spider claw. Oh, so, so what, you're going to attack us with that and drain out our essential life fluids? Ooh. or? No, I, in fact, I was going to make myself a Braunschwager melt. Now that's a coincidence! <laughs> 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 uh, well, <sighs> let's see what Pearl's up to. Yeah, let's. The castle's gone. There's nothing but a huge dark stain from them blasting off. I know, Mike, the stains from Bobo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Nelson, forgot to tell you. We're moving back. They had some weird arcane law in that town about not throwing garbage out your windows, and I cannot abide that kind of oppression. So we got the castle back up on the flatbed out there. We had to stop and diesel up at this here pump and munch. Bobo's in the men's room, mean brain guy here in the ladies' room. Oh, I had no idea. Right. Now give her brain guy. Look, I found a bunch of balloons in the men's room vending machine, <laughs> so I bought us a whole bunch. And look, they're individually wrapped. Well, this one even protects us from something. Oh, and this one is from France, and it's supposed to tickle us. <laughs> that's fun. Oh, and this one, this is a red balloon that's supposed to make some lady happy. I really uh, don't understand. Can, can I see those, please? Oh, sure. Um, Bobo, we need to have a, a little talk. Huh? You're not ready for this, Nelson. Now, Bobo, when a flower loves a bee very much... One of these and... Uh... Oh, uh, my many lady oh. friends will appreciate my caution. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh,